Are your thoughts, behaviors, and emotions being influenced by the other 8 billion people on this planet simultaneously and unconsciously? Famous Swiss psychoanalyst Carl Jung believed so. He developed the theory of the collective unconscious, a shared universal database that all humans are endowed with upon birth, no matter their gender, race, religion, or culture. For more than half of his life, Carl Jung further developed and defended his theory of the collective unconscious. And since his passing in 1961, we have increasing amounts of evidence that the collective unconscious is real and that it's stored in the electromagnetic interference patterns of the whole universe. So if we're all connected to the collective unconscious as Carl Jung believed, how can we consciously increase our connection to it for our benefit? Hi, I'm your host Stefan, and in this video we'll discuss the natural energy fields of the Earth known as the Schumann Resonances and why they're a top candidate for the collective unconscious information field and how you can improve and strengthen the connection your brain has to the Schumann Resonances. If you're new to my channel, I've created a ton of videos on what the Schumann Resonances are and how they're created, and I recommend you give those videos a watch for a better understanding of the physics at play. But I will go over quickly what the Schumann Resonances are right now. The Schumann Resonances are persistent electromagnetic waves that have higher power than the background electromagnetic field in the 0 to 40 Hz spectrum. The five main frequencies of the Schumann Resonances are 7.8 Hz, 14 Hz, 20 Hz, 25 to 26 hertz, and 33 hertz. Electromagnetic waves of all frequencies are created when atmospheric lightning discharges, the ionosphere undergoes its day-night cycles, and when solar flares impact the magnetosphere and ionosphere. But the specific frequencies of the Schumann resonances are stronger than other frequencies in the 0 to 40 plus hertz range because they resonate better with the Earth in between the ground and ionosphere because of their wavelength. For example, the foundational 7.8 Hz Schumann wave has a wavelength equal to the circumference of the Earth, its pulse rate of 7.8 times a second being the same as the number of times light waves circumnavigate the Earth in one second. For this reason, the 7.8 Hz Schumann wave and other higher modes of the Schumann resonances dissipate less energy over time than other extremely low frequency electromagnetic waves, like 17 Hz or 23 Hz, which don't vibrate as nicely with the Earth. Based on their physics of creation, it seems that the Schumann resonances have been stable energy fields on Earth for hundreds of millions of years, and life from its inception almost certainly evolved in the ever-present electromagnetic fields of the Schumann resonances. Electromagnetic fields contain a tremendous amount of information. The upper limit is theoretically infinite, and this makes electromagnetic interference pattern the perfect candidate for Jung's collective unconscious database. A good database also has 100% uptime, and while the Schumann resonances ebb upwards and downwards in power over space-time, they are always present and never go to zero. Based on the physics of electromagnetism, the Schumann resonances are a compelling scientific explanation for Carl Jung's collective unconscious database, and there is also evidence for this based on the relationship between the Schumann resonances and the human brain. The first line of evidence that the brain and Schumann resonances connect is that human brain waves have the same 0 to 40 Hz plus frequency range and picotesla strengths as the Schumann resonances. This is just the beginning of the relationship though. Specific structures in the brain tell us more. The temporal lobes on each side of the brain together are one of the four major lobes of the cerebral cortex, and they process sensory inputs before storing them into memories. More specifically, the temporal lobe retains visual memories, spatial memories, emotional associations, and language comprehensions, and the word temple has its root in the Latin word tempus, which means time. As part of the long-term memory task that the temporal lobe performs, information from all parts of the brain first converge at the medial and terrinal cortexes, a brain structure located within each temporal lobe. Information from throughout the brain is funneled through the entorhinal cortexes on its way to the hippocampi, where the information is stored as long-term memories. To facilitate the memory storage process, the hippocampus of each temporal lobe produces new neurons, even in adults. It's been observed that the dendritic stellate neurons of each entorhinal cortex persistently oscillate 8 times a second, which lies within the 7.5 to 8.2 Hz frequency range of the fundamental mode of the Schumann resonances. 
Brain waves exist at many different frequencies, from low 0 to 4 Hz delta waves up to 30 plus Hz gamma waves, and any information which comes in at various frequencies destined for long-term storage in the hippocampi is first passed through this 8 Hz filter of the entorhinal cortexes. So there are a few interesting observations here. First is the fact that the cerebral lobe most responsible for time perception and memory is split into two and is located on each side of the brain, just like the two ears of a radio antenna. Then there's a structure located within each temporal lobe that all short-term memory information must first pass through before making its way to the hippocampus. And this structure, the entorhinal cortex, pulses at the same frequency as the strongest Schumann wave. If the Schumann resonances are being used by Homo sapiens as the collective unconscious information field, or at least one part of it, then it seems it's at the temporal lobes where information is transmitted and received between the human brain and Schumann resonances. They both pulse at the same 8 Hz frequency and pico tesla strengths. And in this way, any information stored in the strongest Schumann resonance can be extracted. When this information extraction happens, the corresponding signal is sent to the hippocampi just like any other, after which a thought, realization, or memory materializes. And the connection between the brain and the Schumann resonances doesn't just stop with the foundational 8 Hz mode. There's also evidence that the brain is able to connect to the higher frequency, more information dense, higher modes of the Schumann resonances. Research was published in 2016 that showed that individuals who displayed the greatest amplitudes for modes 1 through 3 of the Schumann resonances in their brainwave patterns had the strongest bioelectrical currents for the parahippocampal regions in the theta and gamma bands. What this means is that if the temporal lobes are able to pulse together in coherence at 8 Hz, then they can also begin pulsing together in sync at higher frequencies. For repetitious electromagnetic waves to be detectable in other parts of the brain requires coherency and sufficient power. Long distance synchronicity as it's known requires large scale neural coordination. And it only occurs when different distant groups of neurons oscillate in a precise phase relationship that remains constant for a significant number of oscillation cycles. Widespread gamma synchronicity at 30 Hz and above is a rare, difficult to achieve phenomenon, but it has been observed with master meditators, who report experiencing higher states of consciousness and a profound connectedness with the wholeness of the universe when in these advanced brainwave state of minds. Higher frequency waves are harder to sync up and they attenuate faster because they cycle more times per second, so special conditions are required for widespread gamma brainwave synchronicity to take place. When a strong and consistent slower 8 Hz timing signal is present, then neurons throughout the brain use that steady beat to coordinate their higher frequency brainwave oscillations in the beta and gamma bands, which encompasses modes 2, 3, 4, and 5 of the Schumann resonances. So it appears the human brain evolved the exact structures necessary and in the right formation for brainwave synchronization with the Schumann resonances to occur. For widespread synchronization to happen, the brain and body must be free of excessive bioelectrical noise. And this brings me to an important consideration to know when you're trying to improve your connection to the Schumann resonances. As I discussed in my video, five signs you're bioelectrically sensitive Electrosmog from Wi-Fi routers, cell towers, the power grid, and other electronic devices disrupt the normal functioning of the brain through their interactions with magnetosomes. The more high frequency electromagnetism in your environment, the more it will attenuate into background biological noise in your brain and in your body. If background electromagnetic noise levels are too high in the brain, then the 8 Hz timing signal generated by the temporal lobes won't be detected in other regions of the brain and widespread brainwave synchronicity at 8 Hz, let alone higher frequencies, won't be able to become established. If you really want to increase your connection to the Schumann resonances, you must first reduce your exposure to background environmental electrosmog. This means reducing your exposure on a day-to-day -day basis, like by turning your Wi-Fi router off at night and by grounding often. And also, if you're attempting to have a certain acute experience of higher consciousness, then it helps tremendously to be somewhere free of electrosmog. Some of the ways to trigger these higher states of consciousness characterized by widespread synchronous brainwave activity is to meditate, engage in a wellness practice like yoga or tai chi, perform breath work like breath of fire, or do some grounding to the earth. 
To best connect to the Schumann resonances, do these types of activities in nature where electrosmog is greatly reduced. And you'll also be surrounded by all the harmonious biofields of the plants and the animals around you. The other important factor to know which helps you increase your connection to the Schumann resonances is to raise the power of your brain waves endogenously. That way the signals from your brain stand out more from the background noise of your bioelectrical system. Common herbs like green tea and chamomile increase 8 to 12 hertz alpha brainwave power. And you can also increase the power of specific brainwave frequencies safely by using binaural beats. I've created a four minute video which explains what binaural beats are and how they work. And I suggest you give that video a watch. But to explain it very simply, the human ear converts sound waves into bioelectric waves that travel down the auditory nerve and into the brain. After about 15 minutes of listening to binaural beats, endogenous brain waves begin to increase in power at and around the same frequency as the binaural beat being played. To increase your connection to the foundational mode of the Schumann resonances and to help increase the power and widespread synchronicity of that important 8 Hz timing signal, you can play a Schumann resonance binaural beat track for 15 plus minutes using a YouTube video like the ad-free one I created here for this purpose. To reduce any background electrical noise, I save these binaural beat tracks to my phone and play them through wired ear pods while in airplane mode. You can use binaural beats while meditating, walking or hiking through nature, during grounding, or even to enhance your productivity while working on a project. The great thing about binaural beats is that when you want to be done with them, you simply turn off the track, the input signal disappears, and your ears immediately go back to their normal functioning. Binaural beats work best in quiet environments and they're easily paired with other methods that raise brainwave power, like various plant medicines, herbs like chamomile and green tea, and some essential oils. Here's an effective protocol that I use and recommend for increasing brainwave power. Find a quiet and secluded spot in nature. Then rub chamomile essential oil on the temples of your head because chamomile increases 8 to 12 Hz alpha brainwaves. Then drink 1 to 2 cups of green tea on an empty stomach or after a very light meal. This can also be a combination of 1 to 1 green tea and chamomile tea. Then meditate in lotus posture while grounded to the earth or perform some grounded yoga all the while maintaining focus on your third eye. If you follow this protocol and practice it consistently, I can guarantee that you'll feel different in some improved way, you'll feel more connected to nature, and at the very least, you'll feel good, calm, and happy. Very often when I do this or a similar process, I walk away from the whole experience with new ideas, realizations, and a better understanding of myself. If you would like to learn more about the Schumann resonances and human bioelectricity, then I suggest you check out my ebook on the topic, which goes much more in depth and is either available for pre order or purchase depending on when you watch this video. Please share any thoughts and experiences you've had concerning this topic in the comments below. All the research that I discuss and the resources that you can use to improve the strength of your connection to the Schumann resonances can be found in the video description. You can continue your education on human bioelectricity by watching the next video in the series, or you can check out the full playlist here. I've been your host, Stefan. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.